Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Metalhead Potterhead here, and today we're looking at the Russian Rosman releases of all seven books. Let's take a look. So I said at the time I was starting up this channel, um, the main focus I have is collecting the books, um, different translations, that type of thing. But one thing I want to do different to a lot of collectors is physically be in the countries and buy the books myself, which I did recently during the summer. I was in Moscow and I went to a weird bookstore and yeah, it was strange. I, like the, it was in the middle, of, actually it was a hundred kilometers north of Moscow, but it's still in Moscow. And um, it was just strange. <laughs> it was like something out of Diagon Alley. It's, I, I, I should have taken some pictures, but I was there at my band playing a concert. So it was just a quick rush in and rush out. Um, there was a few different versions, but he directed me to these where he kept saying that I have the rare Rosman releases. Now, they're not very rare, you can still pick them up, but they're not sold anymore. It was the first translation in Russian, I think in 2005, uh, by Rosman. So I picked them all up, let's take a look. First book in the series is obviously The Philosopher's Stone. Um, what can I say? The first thing that hit me was the paper quality is very very thin you know like those little bibles you get sometimes in a hotel that's what the paper quality is like and it almost looks like recycled paper i don't know if you can see that but anyway it's still cool um the, the all the illustrations are by mary grand pre the original us editions there's no difference in the illustrations in any book um there's no dust jackets they didn't come with dust jackets one thing i do really like is the kind of embossed logo here with the gold um, lettering on the font is really nice. So Philosopher's Stone in Russian, then the Chamber of Secrets, again same cover, this says Rosman, um, it's got that Harry Potter logo, it doesn't say Wizarding World on it so these are, let me see, let's check, let's check, I'm pretty sure these editions are from 2005 and they were the last Rosman versions. Uh, 2006 okay and that was it that's the last Rosman had to do I don't know why there's another translation people doing the books now apparently um prisoner of Azkaban I think it's really cool just to have these books in Russian can I read Russian of course not the goblet of fire Harry did you put the name of the goblet of fire he said calmly uh, another thing I noticed as well, if you can see the kind of the rounded edges on them. So cool. Order of the Phoenix. I love the blue color of this book. I love the US Scholastic version and I love this version here. This is so nice. Half Blood Prince in Russian. I think I know this one's a different thing. Yeah. How different are the backs? I don't know what all that says. Let's see the boy. Yeah, that's similar. Chamber Secrets. Ordered Phoenix. Was there always that much writing on the back of uh, the Half Blood Prince? I don't know. And last but not least, we have the Deathly Hallows. So there you go, just a quick video to show you the beautiful, beautiful Russian releases of all, I was going to say all four, well, all seven Harry Potter books. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.